Assalamu alaikum. How are you all? Have a wonderful good evening to all of you. First, I want to tell you about our language course. What we are going to do throughout the entire period. Uh, you will have effective resources and material to practice your skills. You have to speak from day one. It's mandatory. And of course, your participation is also mandatory. Uh, because without this, you can't achieve whatever you want to uh, achieve or whatever uh, goal you have in your mind. Uh, as we all know that uh, one cannot be master in one day. It takes time. Uh, your basic course will comprise of three months. As we have seen uh, that the speaking, listening, writing, reading, and grammar, uh, we will focus on speaking, listening, writing, reading, and grammar. And definitely on that goal we have uh, in our mind. After starting the regular class uh, that is expected from first step, you will have written and speaking tasks besides the ongoing classes. Uh, means uh, when you don't have your class, you will have a topic. Or a grammatical structure on which you have to speak for at least 30 seconds. Uh, you will record your voice and strength in the group. Um, you will also listen to your fellows and give feedback. We will discuss this later when once the, our classes will start. Uh, is there any confusion regarding this course? Uh, if you have any question, you can ask me. Assalamu alaikum, Aftab here. How are you, Aftab? Ma'am, Alhamdulillah, I'm good. What about you, ma'am? I'm absolutely good. Thank you very much. Okay, ma'am, I just want to ask for the flow of the course, how you will be going, just like you will be taking all the modules simultaneously. Uh, you will be taking one course for one week, and after that, you will take other one, and that's how it will work. Uh, what do you mean by the course? Are you asking about the listening, uh, speaking, writing, and reading? Or yeah, um, ma'am, I'm, al I'm so asking I'm about all these modules, just like reading, writing, speaking, and definitely the listening. The aspects of the language, neither the aspects of the language. Uh, yes, it's a yeah, very good question. Uh, but we will take all these aspects, all these uh, structures uh, with our language program. Uh, uh, just like we have one day, we have the conversation only. And one day uh, we have a, a writing or a written practice maybe, or the grammatical structure will be with the speaking. Uh, definitely, you know, all of you uh, may be aware of this, that we, uh, uh, unless you learn the grammar, you can't speak or write. Uh, basically, the uh, grammar is very necessary, necessary thing uh, for writing a language. Okay, so uh, grammar, is necessary for not only for writing but also uh, essential for speaking too. So you have to learn grammar. You will learn grammar with speaking to and with writing in reading and in listening. So all of these aspects of all of these skills you can uh, it's a much uh, better word uh, should be used here. All of these skills you will learn. It will be integrated. Uh, no, uh, it will be integrated. It will be an integrated course. Uh, it will not happen that you will uh, practice one skill in one week and then uh, another skill in another week. Uh, no, no, no. It will not be happen. It will be an integrated course. Uh, all four skills will be taught to you, uh, taught to you simultaneously. Um, and you will have a, a grammatical structure as a backbone. Yes, so, uh, Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, now, uh, as I told you, as I announced uh, in the group, that uh, we will learn about a piece of writing in our class, in our demo class. Uh, so, uh, because it's a demo class, so it will not uh, be too lengthy. So, uh, in a short period of time, I so just uh, I want to ask you one thing. That uh, what I'm saying is it clear to all of you? Everything is yes, clear to all of you. Okay, that's great. Uh, because if there is any confusion, I will clear to you. Okay, you can ask me. Uh, 
there is no matter of him or a hesitation okay because we are all here we are all here including me we are all here to learn what is the paragraph anyone any one of the brilliant student can tell me that what is the paragraph if there any uh, picture of what is the paragraph in your mind what can you say about a paragraph what is it what do you think about it yes sab do aate this a paragraph is a group of sentences in which a uh, is in which a uh, tells about uh, expresses his feelings expresses sorry okay that's good uh you are right that paragraph is a group of sentences as it is shown also in your slide there is a group of sentences but before studying what is a paragraph i want to tell you something about what is writing unlike the speaking writing is not an ability we can acquire naturally uh if we are born uh, in canada america we can speak english naturally as we are born in pakistan so we can speak urdu it's not a, a matter of prestige in uh, speaking urdu in pakistan right so agar hum urdu bolte hain pakistan mein to hamare liye koi problem nahi hai isi tarah se if once upon if one uh, man is born in uh, canada or america if he is speaking english so it is not a, a big deal it's not a big deal right so we can acquire language naturally our mate can also speak english if they listen to us you know it do you know it have you encountered this uh, when a illiterate person or a person uh, with no degree or with uh, uh, no qualification uh, he or she can speak english agreed ma'am we have seen a lot of people you have seen a lot of working people. in different country yeah do you know uh, about their uh, writing skill ma'am basically i have been writing for last 3 years for mm -hmm. different uh, freelance sites just like fiverr and upwork and i have been level 2 seller on fiverr and uh, definitely rising star on upwork and suddenly uh, due to my job Uh, due to my busy job nature i have i left it out all these uh freelancing things six months ago so i'm i'm only focusing on learning and on my job definitely so no no actually my i've been writing was, yeah my question was have you seen these people who can speak fluently can write as well as they speak matlab unko no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am that's not the case i'm sorry i didn't understand first uh, no this is not the case the people who are just speaking they are just speaking they are not good writers or even they can't write well yes that that's yeah, the problem yeah. that's in our pakistan yeah. the majority the, all of the people can speak urdu definitely uh, it's their mother tongue but they can't write urdu all of all of the people can't write urdu they can't read urdu because they are illiterate so here's the matter with the english that uh, the most of the most of the students the most of the people can speak by listening others or the benefit of that they are in a native country so they can speak english but in writing skills they are zero okay so it's not the an ability i am uh, what i was telling you that it is not an ability we can acquire naturally even in our first language it has to be taught means another language is can be learned just by listening others and by be a part of an environment uh, like in an english language country or in among the english speaking people uh, you know everyone can speak uh, his or her native language or mother tongue uh, but you know that everyone can't write or read even his mother tongue so the reading or writing is difficult task it is more even difficult when one try to write in second language so we are trying to write in a second language so we have to be careful about it unless the writing is explicitly taught matlab aapko jab tak bahut achhi tarike se nahi sikhai jayegi so how to write in the new language so the writing skills are likely to be left behind 
मतलब वो पीछे रह जाएगी आपकी जो अगर आपको सही तरीके से नहीं सिखाया जाएगी तो आपकी जो राइटिंग स्किल्स है वो आपको इतनी अच्छी तरह से आएगी नहीं बस जबकि स्पीकिंग जो है वो आपकी प्रोग्रेस होती रहेगी इट वुड बी कंटिन्यू स्पीकिंग प्रोग्रेस बट द राइटिंग वुड बी लव बिहाइंड सो राइटिंग इज नॉट जस्ट अबाउट द ग्रामर स्पेलिंग और द मैकेनिक्स डेफिनेटली यू नीड टू लर्न अबाउट द वैन यू वैन यू राइट अ लेटर यू हैव टू लर्न सो वट वुड बी द स्पेलिंग ऑफ दिस वर्ड ओके और द मैकेनिक्स ऑफ द एल्फाबेट Uh, learners also need to be the aware of and the use of the conventions conventions uh, the traditions or the techniques or the method that um, uh, application mein jab aap principle ko address karte hain aur aakhir mein uh, jo apna naam likhte hain to ek iska convention hai that is called the convention use the convention of the genre in a new language so that was all uh, that was all about the writing so now come to our topic that words the paragraph पैराग्राफ जो इज अ मिनियचर ऐसे जब आप ऐसे लिखते हैं ऐसे मुख्तलिफ पैराग्राफ से मिलकर बनता है तो इसको आप स्मॉल ऐसे भी कह सकते हैं बहुत छोटी सी चीज है लेकिन इसके भी कन्वेंशन है इन हाउ टू राइट ए गुड पैराग्राफ इट इज ऑल अबाउट इट इट मस्ट है फाइव टू सेवन सेंटेंस फाइव टू सेवन सेंटेंस इसमें होने चाहिए अ क्लियर मेन आइडिया क्लियर मेन आइडिया मतलब सिर्फ एक ही आइडिया होगा पैराग्राफ पे सपोर्टिंग इंफॉर्मेशन एंड इट कुड बी अ पार्ट ऑफ अ लॉन्गर कंपोजिशन कंपोजिशन मीन ऐसे अ गुड पैराग्राफ मस्ट हैव थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस सेंटेंसेस सॉरी द वन इज द टॉपिक सेंटेंस नंबर टू द सपोर्टिंग सेंटेंसेस नंबर थ्री थी कंकुलेटिंग सेंटेंस सो वॉट इज द टॉपिक सेंटेंस uh have you any idea any one of you abdul was say could you please tell me what should be the topic sentence are you here the topic sentence is to, uh, to state the main idea to state the main idea and uh just suppose the cricket the topic is cricket so what would be the main uh, topic sentence which it will it would be all about the, uh, cricket it would be all about cricket and the topic sentence kya hoga sentence kya banayenge ab uska topic sentence kya hoga matlab jo first sentence hoga it is called the topic sentence the first sentence of the paragraph is called the topic sentence after that after that you would have the supporting sentences you will tell about cricket more then after that you will conclude your paragraph in the concluding sentence you restate the main idea what was your main idea in the first sentence what have you state you will restate in the last sentence you can uh, tell it a hamburger style burger to sabne hi khaya hoga khaya hai na yes miss yes miss what is in the top of the burger burger hi hota hai na uske upar बर्गर के ऊपर क्या होता है बन इट्स कॉल्ड अ हैम बर्गर स्टाइल बन होता है और आखिर में नीचे भी क्या होता है बन ही होता है अ पीस ऑफ बन अ पीस ऑफ बन ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द बर्गर एंड अ पीस ऑफ बन इन दिज इट इसके आखिर में इसका जो लास्ट पार्ट होता है उसमें भी बन का ही पीस होता है लेकिन दोनों की शेप डिफरेंट होती है दोनों की शेप डिफरेंट होती है कॉल्ड हैम बर्गर स्टाइल हैम बर्गर है आपका पैराग्राफ है या आपका ऐसे है तो उसमें क्या है कि आपका टॉपिक सेंटेंस है फर्स्ट सेंटेंस अबाउट द पैराग्राफ है द लास्ट सेंटेंस समराइज द मेन आइडिया ऑफ द पैराग्राफ सो एंड इन द मिडिल ऑफ द सेंटेंस इन द मिडिल ऑफ द पैराग्राफ यू विल टेल अबाउट द पैराग्राफ वट इज वट इज अबाउट द पैराग्राफ एंड हाउ कैन आई राइट वन वट विल यू राइट जस्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई गिव यू द टॉपिक ऑफ क्रिकेट so uh, what will you write zameer zain sorry are you here madhya amar zain will you please tell me something yes please what will you write the first sentence about the cricket if you are given a, a topic about the paragraph so what will you write 
about the cricket the topic is about the cricket but what will you write in the first sentence in the paragraph what would be your first sentence What will you write? मतलब स्टार्ट कहाँ से करेंगे आप अगर हॉकी है जस्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये सब दिलवाते हैं डू यू वॉन्ट टू से समथिंग यू रेस यूर है गेम्स एंड अबाउट द क्रिकेट हाउ इट बेनिफिशियल Cricket is how the cricket is beneficial to us. Okay, so how the cricket is beneficial for us? Um, but my question was about the topic sentence. That what will you write about the, in the first sentence? So first sentence would be the catchy sentence. It attract the reader, your teacher. Okay, the first sentence would be like that. It attracts your reader, the teacher who is going to give you marks. The first sentence ऐसा होना चाहिए. कि वो आपके रीडर को अट्रैक्ट करे आपके जो टीचर हैं वो पहला सेंटेंस ही पढ़े तो कहें कि हाँ इसमें कुछ जरूर लिखा होगा और फर्स्ट सेंटेंस टॉपिक से जितना रेलिवेंट होगा मतलब अगर हॉकी है तो यू कैन से यू कैन स्टार्ट विद एट अ प्राइमरी लेवल दैट हॉकी इज आवर नेशनल गेम देन यू विल स्टार्ट राइटिंग अबाउट हॉकी कंक्लूडिंग सेंटेंस द लास्ट सेंटेंस ऑफ द पैराग्राफ इज द कंक्लूडिंग सेंटेंस इट टेल्स द मेन आइडिया अगेन but in a different way in a new words aftab can you please uh, read this for me how to write okay. a good paragraph uh, okay ma'am my mother is a very busy person she works in our day she goes to office early in the morning and come back quite late at night Sometimes she even works on Saturdays. She has no time for play or fun. Hmm. And what about the second paragraph? Okay. My mother is a very busy person. My toy car is broken. The cow. Uh, okay. I think uh, timing is feeding. So okay. The cows are the cows are grazing in the field. The mm-hmm. sun sets in the west. We live in Dhankuta. Mm-hmm. My name is Kali Prasad. A mouse is a little creature. <laughs> yes, very nice. <laughs> That's quite funny. <laughs> That's very nice. So, what do you think? So, what is uh, about this paragraph? What uh, What do you think by uh, reading the second paragraph? Matlab, uh, second second paragraph is basically uh, not structured, and we are not getting anything. This is not about the same topic, so uh, we can't conclude anything. Yes. So, what's about? There is several sentences and they are not all correct, connected to each of them. मतलब इनमें कोई आपस में लिंक ही नहीं है जिसको कहते हैं उर्दू में कि ना सर है ना पैर है. So my mother is a very busy person. After that, my toy car is broken. After that, uh, the person who has written the sentence, uh, the paragraph, is talking about his car. After that, he is talking about his cow. After that, he is talking about the sun sets in the west and about where he is uh, living and what's his name and uh suddenly he changed shift uh, to a little mouse but look at the first paragraph so it is for a basic uh, level it is all about his mother that uh, my mother is a very busy person so it uh, the idea is connected to the second sentence also she works 16 hours a day this defines that how much uh, the her mother is busy she is a busy person and she works 16 hours a day she goes to office early in the morning and come back quite late at night so what a good paragraph has a good paragraph must have unity the all paragraphs should be connected to each other they should speak about one topic supporting support supporting sentence hone chahiye coherence the last uh, paragraph the second paragraph would not have any did not have any coherence that is called the coherence uh, which was present in the first paragraph i show you again the first paragraph has coherence my banda is a busy a very busy person she works 16 hours a day matlab coherence ka matlab hota hai link 
लिंक है आपस में आइडियाज लिंक हो रहे हैं जबकि ये सेकेंड पैराग्राफ जो है आपके सामने इसमें कोई आइडिया किसी से लिंक नहीं हो रहा गुड लैंग्वेज यूज ऑफ गुड लैंग्वेज एंड वाइटी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर इज कम इन आवर इंटरमीडिएट और द एडवांस लेवल प्रीवियस स्लाइड विच स्लाइड You are asking about this slide? Yes, Miss. Unity, support, coherence, good language, variety of structure. Good language and variety of structure is a part of our written skill, our writing skill. So what is about the unity? Unity must have one main idea. It must have the topic sentences and other sentences supports the one main idea. Like in the first paragraph, one idea will be supported. We will support the rest of the ideas. Okay? And what is the coherence? What is the coherence? Coherence means coherence. Coherence means well organized detail. 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 Coherence means That should be chronological. मतलब ये नहीं कि I wake up early in the morning, then you tell tell about uh, what do you do in the evening. Then after that you will tell about what do you do in the afternoon, and uh, that's all. The chronological order. That means step one. So please mute yourself. Abdul Wasi, please mute yourself. Thank you. It should be logical, a clear, reasonable, sensible connections or linkers or connectors should be used. Uh, I will tell you something. Some of the linkers that uh, these are the words uh, you can save or can take a snapshot of these words. If you use these words in your paragraph or in your writing or in your essay, it will uh, boost your writing. Uh, it will give you good marks. Uh, these are these words are also used in IELTS. uh just for example above all additionally although and these all words have different purposes but these words are we use these are linkers and these are special words which you have to use for your uh writing an essay and to gain a, a good, and to gain good marks just for example uh the some purpose of these linkers are cause and effect se important se similarity hai After place and differences are so when you want to uh, show the cause and effect uh, as a result, as a result it happened. So you will use these words purposely in your essay. Meaning of the word and the purpose of the word is changed according to the sentence. Uh, it is different when we are uh, using in our writing, and it is different when we uh, use in uh, our speaking. आपने eyes eyes किए हैं ना? अच्छा आयल जो है वो सिर्फ टू इयर्स के लिए होता है सो डू यू नो व्हाट्स द रीजन बिहाइंड दिस मैम आई कैन ओनली गेस इट कैन बी जस्ट लाइक वी आर लिविंग इफ आई एम लिविंग फॉर टू इयर्स और मोर इन पाकिस्तान एंड आई एम नॉट गेटिंग इन द प्रैक्टिस स्पीकिंग इंग्लिश सो आई बी आई बी नॉट दैट वेल व्हाइल आई एम डूइंग सम इयर्स इन द वर्ल्ड After two, three years, that's how it is. Because language comes with the practice. Mm-hmm. Language. Language comes with practice. Language comes with practice, and you uh, and you think that why it is uh, for two years only? Sorry, I could not hear you. Uh, can you hear me now? Ah, uh, yes, you are audible now. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, basically, we are uh, if we are uh, living here in Pakistan or in some somewhere else, we are our uh, we are not using English, uh, English or any other language if, uh, uh, for a for a specific time interval, just like two years or three years, then we are not getting enough practice. Mm-hmm. We are not English people, so uh, 
there would be problem with us uh, yes for uh, uh, yes you are right you are right that if we don't practice if we don't practice a language we can forget the language uh, of the rules and in ielts too and in ielts uh, the ielts uh, basically they are teaching us uh, in the ielts they are teaching us uh, just practicing uh, just giving you how to tell you how to tell the answer uh, they are just uh, uh, giving you a format so in this way you have to uh, answer and these words will, if you use these words if you uh use these patterns uh, you will be uh, gain good marks and you will gain uh, good bands uh, these uh, these are the actually the main uh, the main problem the uh, when we get admission in ielts uh, they don't teach us english uh, they actually teach us patterns then how we should use in front of the examiner uh, this language so we can get a uh, good bands taaki hamara jo hai wo kaam nikal jaye hamare jo purpose hai uske baad jab when we once once we uh, get into a uh, another country definitely with the environment we can learn the language am i audible yes ma'am okay it's enough for the day so uh, are you all of you clear with the paragraph writing is there any question no ma'am Amar Sen, Madhya, and who is he or she? Uh, P O C U N three. There is no question. Okay. Uh, then we stop our meeting. Uh, in a nutshell, I just want to tell you uh, for the course uh, to check yourself where you are standing today and speaking, uh, writing, listening, or reading. Uh, mark it and set a realistic goal that is attainable. uh within the 3 months um i hope you will really feel the difference uh it was just a nice meeting glad to see you all such a brilliant and hard working people uh, have a nice day take care allah hafiz